All right, if you are looking for a new soft cooler that has some pretty good insulating abilities and something that could go on like a road trip, for example, uh, fit into tight spaces, not overwhelming, or bring it to the beach, hopefully this can help you out. We're gonna review this cooler. Let's get started. All right, so here we are. This is the cooler, and uh, we decided to go with a, a smaller one. Uh, we had an old hard cooler from Coleman that really wasn't compatible to road trips. It didn't fit into tight spaces. We had to keep it in the back of the vehicle, for example. So we were looking for something a little more mobile, a little bit smaller, and this one made the cut. It basically met the price point that we were looking for and had great reviews. So uh, this is what it looks like brand new. The brand is Titan, and I will put a link in the description below for this and some other cool options that made the cut, but it, we decided not to go with for whatever reason. Uh, but this thing is loaded with little zippered pouches that are insulated and waterproof. You can see the lining here, super slick, slippery almost. Um, and that's just going to really help with, with cleanup. It's got a couple of side pouches as well that are kind of elastic. Uh, two handles on, uh, so you can like pick it up and then a shoulder strap as well. Bungee cord for the top so you can tuck something underneath. And some other cool features which we will get to soon. Uh, so that netting is really nice. There's one on kind of both both sides here. So you can put little things in here, you know, sunscreen or knickknacks or whatever. Uh, now it's got this rhino lining, uh, and we'll get to that in a second, but here's how it opens. It's got a little Velcro latch, and check out this. Uh, one of the coolest features, I think, uh, by the way, the, there's like a really tight, you know, it's, a, it's soft, but it doesn't compress. It's actually a hard plastic there that um, when you close it, it creates almost like an airtight seal, I would say. But it's got this really uh, cool feature that I really like, a uh, built-in shelf, so... You know, some people might not like this because you have to lift it out to get to the contents, but obviously you don't have to travel. You can actually just take it out if you don't like it, no problem. Um, but I like the shelf because you could put like sandwiches on the top or something, and then, you know, deep six, some of the other things if you're traveling long distance. Um, here's, let me just press on the side there so you can get a feel for, for what it's like. So basically an insulated plastic with um, this rhino lining blue cover over it. It has a built-in little uh, beer cap, bottle cap remover there that clips on. I mean, built in, you can obviously take it off there, but it is included. That is not an external or exterior purchase. There we go. So that's kind of cool. I like that. There's another look down the side of, so it's got that blue cover, basically encasing uh, this gray insulated plastic. So everything seals up and closes up really tightly, I think. I do like the Velcro. Uh, it's a one-handed operation. Now, I mentioned earlier that Rhino lining. So this is one of the other cool features about this. It's completely waterproof, very high quality, and I think really cool, classy looking. Um, we opted for the blue. You can obviously get this in a variety of colors, but check out how it beads the water. Uh, by the way, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to share this video with somebody. That'd be great. And then it just wipes up really clean. So if you spill pretty much anything on this. Now there's a little bit of brown discoloration I noticed when I first purchased this. This was, uh, I don't know, something that's not really noticeable but worth pointing out. So definitely check yours if you opt to go with this for any brown discoloration. Again, this is brand new. It's not like it developed over time. And I could have sent this back, but uh, it doesn't really bother me at all. I can't really see it. So, But definitely something for you to check out when you do your visual inspection when you open it for the first time. So here's that uh, built-in tray, a little shelf here so you can you know, put things on it and just remove it. Two-handed removal if you've got it uh, you know, loaded up with stuff so you can access things underneath. And you could put a lot of food in this little, little thing. Uh, you'll have to compare, you know, go, go to that link and you can actually read the cubic dimensions of it um, because, yeah, depending on what your needs are, you know, uh, that's going to vary. But uh, we, we decided to go with this particular one. 
uh, because you can fit it in, in between the seats of a car, I think, really easily. We've got a, we're rocking the minivan, so we took this on a couple of road trips and absolutely love it. One thing you want to do if you're going on a road trip that's lengthy, you know, travel with a couple of those portable ice packs inside the cooler because it's not a vacuum sealed cooler. So it's not going to, you know, keep things cold for like, you know, 20 hours or whatever, uh, like some of those fancy ones. So definitely throw some of those in to keep things cold. You'll need a source of uh, ice basically uh, to, to help it retain its um, it's cold temperatures, but great for the beach, great for road trips, small, compatible, packed full of zippered compartments, everything's super easy to clean. It's got that tough, durable rhino lining with the, uh, removable shelf on the inside as well. So, uh, new classy, highly recommended purchase, and hopefully this has helped you make a good decision. Thanks so much.